gentlemen. It's been an honor. Ventura Mustang girl do that thing. Alright, Alright, now you gotta start again because it's weird. Hey, hello, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> I don't like this. Welcome back to Working Class Music. I'm one of your hosts, Jason. And I'm Tia. And on today's episode, we'll be taking a look at something newish that's based on something kind of oldish. <coughs> Today we're taking a look at the Fender Ventera Mustang. <laughs> Today we're taking a look at the Fender Ventera Mustang guitar. This model has been available since 2019 and is a part of the Ventera lineup. If you're a fan of the show, you may have seen the Ventera Jazzmaster episode we did a while back. Well, this is the Mustang version, not the crowd killer kind. Yeah. So, what makes us must think? Nah, we just skip that. Let's just jump into the specs. Cut the fat. Go straight to the uh, the meat. Okay. Comes with an older body, vintage style tuners. Two. Two. I can <laughs> Two '60s Mustang single coil pickups. With a Mustang, you do have the option of running it series or parallel. A 24 inch. 60s C-shaped maple neck with a 7.25 radius pow ferro fingerboard with 22 vintage style frets. Vintage style floating Mustang tremolo and bridge includes a deluxe gig bag. These guitars, head show in Mexico. Onto the sound. <laughs> Drive for me, just give me a little reverb, please.
You, you're, what, are you, what is this, the later action? You're going on three and he's going on shoot. What is this? <laughs> no. I'll go first. Like to you, this is uh, five seconds I've had this. Uh, five, you know, five, ten seconds with it. If you haven't watched the channel, I'm not the biggest fan of short scales. So this is an interesting thing for me. It's a bit rude to say considering that I'm right here, but uh, okay. Yeah, I know I'm short, but you don't yeah. have to call me short scale. Yeah, we'll discuss this later off camera. We'll discuss this in therapy. Goodbye, everyone. I'll remember you all in therapy. You know, the Ventera series has been a home run to me, considering that Fender, outside of the Performer series, doesn't have an American-made Mustang. I like this a lot better than the Performer series. You know, the Performer series is my ideal Mustang without all the switching. I was going to say, three. is it because of the, the selector switch? No, yeah, yeah that's, what, that's what I like. However, this one sounds and plays better than the Performer series. So typically, I would prefer the Performer series because of the simplified switching. However, I am pleasantly surprised by this. The short time that I've played it, this is one of the best in the Ventura series that I've played. I've played a lot of the Tellys, played a lot of the, well, the two Jazz Masters uh, and the Jaguar. And I would dare say this is probably top three. I'm very shocked at how good this is. This is a huge step up above the classic vibe. Like. It's a night and day difference. The neck profile is super comfy. That's one thing that I liked about it. It feels really good in the hand. And also the pickups. Typically I change pickups. I'm not the biggest fan of stock pickups, but these sound really good and really articulate. Like they're not ice picky. They remind me of the Ben Gibbard Mustang, which I love, but this this is nice. And Lake Placid Blue. How could you go wrong with Lake Placid Blue? Such a great color. Yeah. Overall, I have, I have nothing but positives to say about it. Like, again, and this is coming from someone who is not a fan of short scales. I expected going into it being like, eh, eh. But I left being like, eh, yeah, yeah. This, this is pretty, this, that's pretty cool. If I get the Mustang bug again, I would probably go for that. If they had a cool FSR finish, I'd probably do that just to be different. But... That yeah, Lake Placid Blue is nice. That definitely has the Nirvana vibes going. In short, with the time that I've had with it, pleasantly surprised, pleasantly surprised. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, so I've had this for a good minute and I love it. Like even from day one, I didn't expect that I was gonna enjoy it as much as I did. But just playing it again, I think it's because I'm short and because everything else that I have is like, quote unquote, full scale. 25.5 but yeah most of what i play are fender that are standard scale and this was just something different like it sounds weird to say but this is like the guitar that stays in my bed like the body's so small the neck is so short i literally just plug in like one of those little micro mustangs the little headphone ones mustang and just, on mustang. yeah this is just like the little easy kind of go-to like jason said the pickups sound really really good and i was really surprised because i was expecting them to be a little lackluster but they sounded pretty like true to my memory because some years ago i did have like one of the made in japan it was kind of like a 60s reissue mustang that was like olympic white with like the red tort guard you know rosewood fingerboard i wouldn't say that they feel similar but they definitely sound similar i know you hate being interrupted but i'm going to interrupt you no, because no, i'm going to forget no. this thought remember when we were in uh last summer when we were in nashville and we were at carter's vintage and there was that oh, mustang that you God, wanted yeah. to buy this is the closest thing i've played to that yeah just hearing it that's what it reminded me of and this doesn't cost 2800 dollars yeah. or whatever they were asking honestly for the money like i think this is killer like it sounds and feels like it's very well made my only complaint and it's really a nitpick pick, pick, um, pick. plectrum yeah yeah <laughs> is like these plastic on the the tune. see i don't like it i like it if, I, if I, it was just metal i would like it a lot more i think it matches the aesthetics of the guitar I, I mean, it, it does it definitely does but i'm i'm personally i'm gonna talk about the pick guard i yeah. love the pick guard yeah now i'm going black and um hopefully we can get some humbucker action going because you know i'm, I'm a fan of that guy that was in that band with dave Grohl. oh courtney loves boyfriend um <laughs> billy corgan yeah billy corgan yeah big fan so you know i really wanted a guitar like his that may or may not have been why i asked for the mustang to begin with but you know that's neither here nor there it's a great sounding and feeling guitar if you are a fun size person like myself you know five four and under i want your someone's gonna run wild with that in the comments 
Go ahead, go ahead. Now I don't want to. <laughs> Fun size. Gross. And I said it. But yeah, if you're under 5'5", five five, try this. You might love it. I certainly do. So yeah, that gets the Tia stamp of approval, seal of approval, seal clubbing out in Canada. It's a thing. Hanging out with my buddy Justin. Yep. No, uh, yeah. Not, not. I do his makeup from time to time. Yep. With that out of the way, firstly, we got to thank the folks at Sweetwater yes. for sending this out. Thank you. Um, we've been uh, having a little bit of process of getting videos out because due to our moving situation, but now we We're are settled. cranking them out and I'm kind of jealous. I kind of want one, but wow, this is like a reverse situation. <laughs> normally I'm the jealous Yeah, one. normally, yeah, I, I kind of want one. With that said, please use our affiliate link. I think this is probably the best Mustang you can get until you get to like custom shop. And I don't even know if they do that there. I mean, if you throw enough money at them, they will. Oh yeah. And like I'm also in the same boat as you, Jason, if I had the choice between like this and American Performer, and there's a reason I chose the Ventura. That's not to talk down on the Performer, it's just, it was lacking, whereas this is not. Like this is a great, great guitar for the money. Don't let the whole made in Mexico thing scare you if you're one of those people. Uh, get that's your thing. Get over it uh, because this is awesome. Give it a try. Just be open-minded. Try it out. Yeah. So with that said, buy this or any other thing you would like on our affiliate links. It helps us out, helps the channel out, and it helps us do this and keeps the lights on, kind of. Remember to like, subscribe, comment. What other guitar would you like to see Fender introduce into the Ventura series, or if they were to do an FSR, what color would you like to see? I personally would like a Sherwood green with a matching headstock, but that's just me. I don't want like a reverse competition. Ooh, that's, that's so a good one. like instead of like the blue with like the white stripes, it would be white. the white with the blue. Yeah, yes. matching headstock. That'd be cool. That's a that's a freebie on me, Fender. Yeah. Just send me one. We'll call it even. There you go. And Patreon merch, social media, hit us up there. We try to be very active and keep we up. tend to do polls. We mm -hmm. answer messages from time to time. Mm -hmm. Time to time. When we're not feeling antisocial and so yeah. bear with us. Yeah. We are but human. Yeah. So anything else I'm forgetting, Nelson? Nope. All right, that is it. Laters. Adios. I'm from bed. <laughs>